Hey, what's up, everybody? How are you? Um, this is coming to you. This is filmed a few days after the giant bannings <clears throat> happened, which I'm still undecided on whether or not I want to make a video of that in time of this filming. Anyway, I might have, I might not have. I'm not sure. I have a lot of thoughts on that subject matter, but. Honestly, the Command Zone pretty much did a perfect video on that subject matter, so you could probably just watch theirs. Um, Josh and I, I think, share a lot of the same thoughts on the subject matter, or at least Josh, not that I know Josh, right, but we share some of the similar thoughts on, on what, <laughs> what, what the deal is. But, because of it, I got this set booster box for pretty darn cheap. Um, so we're going to get into this thing, because... Uh, I understand that, like, Mana Crypt got banned, but at time of this filming, uh, that card hasn't completely crashed because, A, they're still casual casual that want to play with them, and then, B, I think there's just people who want to tell the rules committee to F off, uh, don't tell us that we can't play with our cards. Um, and so it kind of feels like a little bit of those things. So Mana Crypt hasn't crashed at all. It went down a lot. Yes, but it didn't crash. It's still a $100 plus card at the time of this filming. Um, anyway, what's the odds of even getting one, right? So while Lost Caverns is the set that did, cur uh, it was the first set with a special guest, uh, and they did it where it was one special guest on average per box, whereas then future uh, special guest releases, it was one every two to two and a half boxes or something like that. I don't know the exact figure. Um, but... So it's not like it's a non-zero chance of getting a Mana Crypt out of one of these. But if you're going to sell these for cheaper, I'm assuming because Mana Crypt got banned, and this is a banger of a set, you know what? That's usually my wheelhouse, isn't it? That's, that's when we open some boxes. Because <clears throat> when you want to sell these for cheaper, for reasons. Okay, no problem. I, I'm down. I'm down to clown. All right, so let's... Uh, it, I know this is going to be an uncommon... Hey, Archaeomancer's map. Not an uncommon for a change. Cool. Not not a banger, but that's still cool. I, I always pull in commons out of them for myself. Or temple bells. Okay. <clears throat> Let's get in the first pack. We've got 30 set packs. I, if you watch the channel, you know that I personally am a fan of set packs. I think set packs were cool. Um, I don't think play packs re, uh, took the place. we got Ian Malcolm and Tyrion's Journal. Yeah, I don't, I don't think the play packs took the took properly filled um, the fun of set boxes myself. But don't have a choice in such matters, so what they decided to do, decided to do. Sanguine Evangelist. There are some, of course, Banger Mythics. Yes, I will tell you, I am hoping for an overhead attack. Um, I am out of, I should say... I had them in too many decks, <laughs> so I need more over here talks. Will I find that? I don't know. We'll see. There's also some other really good ones, so we will see what's up. Roaming throw. There's a there's a banger. Absolute banger. It's funny that the salt score went up so high in that card. I wonder if it went up so high just because you can put it in any kind of kindred, almost. Like, it's a strong card, but, like, I don't know. I don't know about being that salty about it. Okay, we've got the Jurassic Park Mountain. Corpses of the Lost. Okay. So, I forgot. Did this set have... Did this set have, uh... List cards? I, I do not remember. I guess we'll find out, won't we? Okay, so your tops get lost. And a foil treasure map. And Jurassic Park treasure token. So I guess is what, amber? Or embryos? Yeah. Spelunking. There's a good uncommon. Not that I'm spending much time with uncommons here. Not going to. The ever flowing well. Dina. All right, so there is list. I had forgotten because I remember uh, things got confusing when they added the special guest, and it has been a minute since I've done this. 
I know somebody was just said a snarky response, and that's okay. Pantalaza, there's a neat commander mythic. Okay. Restless Vents. Um, I don't know if I made enough space here. I don't know. Manlands. Like, some of them are seeing more play. So, like, is that cool? Do we like that? Do we like those cards? I think a couple of them are neat. I don't like the fact that they come in the battlefield tapped. That part uh, doesn't do it for me. Which is why I never got excited, because I know some people over time have questioned, why didn't you do a, do a row for the for the, for the the new lands? Uh, because they come into play tapped. That's why. Threefold Thunder Hulk. Bartolome. Okay. They come into play tapped and don't do anything that turn. So, like, they don't even give me a scry, or they, or they don't even give me a connive. Or not can I have whatever the whatever the the, the stupid ones from uh, what set is that the the the, the Ravnica set um, murders at Carl of Manor that's that's the name of the set jeez rough day today molten collapse carnage tyrant okay so there is our special guest that's a decent one I'll take a carnage tyrant all right non foil so I was excited as a mana crypt even though mana crypt was was you know. Band, but Carnage Siren, it's pretty cool. It's hoping for one of the ones I hadn't seen yet, admittedly. So I have a Carnage Siren. So our first mythic, uh, regular set mythic, that is, we've got the Ancient One, Echoing Deeps. Yeah, that's not bad. All right, so we're done with the first row. We got Roaming Throne. We got Get Lost, which is which is cool. Um, hoping to do better on the regular mythics than the ancient one, but there are some want want mythics in this product, so there is that. Sahili, well, there's number two. <laughs> now, I gotta say, uh, the, issue, the initiate of blood from uh, Champions of Kamigawa and Goka the Unjust. It's shaping up like I remember my set boxes kind of going for this product right now. <laughs> oh well. Maybe we'll pull something out. Daylight Spelunker, Join the Dead, Gullum. Yeah, you probably hear a lot of wind in the background. Um, obviously, we time of this filming, we just had a hurricane move its way into Georgia, and now it's heading toward Tennessee, um, where it looks like it's going to Geological Appraiser. That's the one that got banned really quickly, right? In uh, Pioneer, Uchman Bach, Restless Ridgeline. <clears throat> and they're probably going to receive more rain than they can possibly handle. And you know, even out here, um, while we're, we're not going to get crushed or anything, we're going to see some of the storm. Because that storm is so freaking huge. It's kind of impressive. Awful. Awfully, but it's impressive. Anim Pakal. Not a hit, but I actually did need another copy of that. So that's... And Brunor Battlehammer! All right. No rares off the list yet, is that right? Yeah. Spelunking again. Nikonzil. Abuelo. All right. Should have at least two more mythics to go. Hopefully, we get something cool out of the list slot. But don't hold your breath on that one, and be uh, happily surprised if you do. Braided net. We should have another couple of direct part cards coming. Okay, Cosmium Confluence. All right. We're just moving right along, aren't we? Abuelo, again, that's on showcase. Bringer of the Last Gift. Squirming Emergence for the three rare pack.
All right, come on, Bucks. Yeah, g give me that guy. Okay, market gnome, dig site, Typhoon blade, subterranean schooner, trumpeting carnosaur in foil. I actually feel like that's not half bad. Okay, we're just chugging along here. Side Claw Raptor, Sovereign Okanek, who is a cool card, not a hit. Counterbalance, all right. That's not bad off the list, okay. Okay, we've got uh, 10 packs left. We should have at least one more Mythic to go. Hopefully, hopefully it's a big one. Zoyoa. <laughs> it's not. Uh, it's the worst of the group. And, and the one that, that is, is exactly in the line, I had a bad... Yeah. If I remember the set boxes as I did open, that's what I always seem to open. Eh, oh, well. Deep Cavern Bat. Waterlogged Hulk. The Belligerent. Hoarding Dragon from uh, Iconic. Oh, well. Win some, you lose some, right? I mean, the sheer number of mana crypts that I pulled out of random packs of this, you know, maybe that's the deal with me in this set. It's got to be random packs. Can't be, can't be a whole box. <laughs> uh, all right, Restless Anchorage. So, not a spicy box. At this, at this point, I, I could call it. Let's just see if we get anything else. Magnetic Galleon. Sentinel of the Nameless City. Okay. What do we got left here? Five packs? Five packs. I don't know this card there. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Is Quinnith. Millions of breaches. Breaches for me. Thousand Moons Smithy. Which Thousand Moons, I don't remember, probably goes there. Okay. Oops. Warden of the Inner Sky. Not bad. All right, three packs left. Deep Root Pilgrimage. I don't know if that card ended up holding any value afterwards because it, it is um, an amazing card in Merfolk decks. Amazing card. Absolute, absolute monster card. Resplendent Angel in the cool artwork. Okay, not a hit, but versus the other mythics I got, I'll take it. Uh, Abuelo's Awakening, which is funny. Star of Extinction. Yeah. So that is a mythic off the list, that time from original Ixalan. Okay. Like, Resplendent Angel was like a $35 card before this reprint. You know, what, was it printed in N19, I think it was, and that was it? But like $35 card, and then it gets reprinted in this set, and it goes like a buck. Wild. I never even would have thought it would have fallen that far, but eh, here we are. Maybe two bucks, you know, in that neighborhood. And Matzelanti. Lantali. I can never say that right. And that is going to do it, folks. Thank you for watching. That was a relatively quick run through a set box of Lost Caverns of Ixalan. Uh, not a hit box, right? Um, thankfully, Roman Throne helps out a lot, but not a hit box. And, you know, that's going to happen. Um, not that there aren't playables here. There are. There are some playables here. So that's cool. So I'm going to call it a day. Appreciate you all. Bye.